Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in today's Tableau quick tip video, I wanna cover how do you add a total label at the end of a stacked bar chart, okay? So basically what we wanna do is accomplish something like what I've just pulled up on the screen here, and sometimes people want this flexibility, so if they want, let's say, like the individual labels in the sections, and then a label at the end with the overall value, then you could do that, or it could just be a standalone value at the end of the bar without the individual labels, okay? So there's actually two primary ways to do this. I'll show you both of those and then explain. They're not a huge difference, but there's maybe some small differences between them. Um, so first of all, uh, my go-to move for this is to use a reference line, okay? so. First of all, if you just take sales and try and put this on label in the marks card and you've already got a stacked bar, then by default, the labels are going to go into the individual sections. And you don't really have a lot of control over that. The alignment isn't going to help you. This is just what Tableau does by default. It takes measures and it breaks them down at the most detailed dimensional level possible based on the dimensions that are in the worksheet. So right now I've got three segments and four regions, so it'll give me 12 labels. So I wanna take sales off of text on the marks card. That's actually not what I'm gonna do right now. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to right click on my sales axis. I'm going to add a reference line. And then here, I'm going to say, um, let me think about this. I think I wanna say per cell, although I might change this. Uh, I'm gonna say per cell, give me, the, the aggregation doesn't matter because it's already sum of sales, so leaving it as average is fine. And I'm gonna to go to label, I'm gonna say give me the value and then I don't actually need a reference line, so I can set reference line. If there is one showing, it might look like that. I can set that to none. Say okay. And then depending on the size and the color of the labels, I can right click on any one of those labels, say format, and then just change this here. Uh, let's see, reference line label font. So if I wanna make those a little bit bigger, for example, then I can do that like so. So there's option number one, adding that label as a reference line. So. Um, what's nice about this, that was pretty quick, it was pretty easy. Uh, I think the only downside I could really think of of this is that you don't have a ton of control over how the label appears, like this label goes back into the bar, whereas this label shoots out the end of the bar. So the other alternative would be using a dual axis uh, bar chart. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get a copy of sales, put that on the column shelf. So now I've got two bar charts that look the same but I'm gonna to go to the second one and not break that down at a regional level. So I just have a single bar per segment. So I'll just add the sales label to the second copy, you know, where it kind of breaks out like this. And now I'm gonna do a dual axis. So I'm gonna grab my second axis, or uh, yeah, second axis in the top left corner there, drag and drop on the opposite side of my first axis. Let's change the mark types in the marks card to set everything to bar. Let's go ahead and make sure these axes are synchronized. And then I can't see the regions. It ended up in the opposite order from what I wanted. I want the colored sections in the foreground. So I'm gonna right click on that axis at the bottom of the screen and say move marks to front. And now I don't need to see two axes so I can right click on that top one, um, deselect show header. And then now I just go into my second section in my marks card here. And if I want to you know, adjust the color, the size of those labels, whatever that might look like, I could do that like so. So there are your two different options for uh, adding a total label at the end of a stack bar chart. So I hope this video was helpful for you and we look forward to sharing another quick tip video here on the One Number YouTube channel with you next week. Thanks for following along.